Hello everyone and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today's video is all about creating that custom accent DIY wall for you guys. I really think you're gonna enjoy this one. I do wanna say thanks to the Home Depot for sponsoring this video, but now let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so you can put these accent walls anywhere in your home. I think they're amazing in hallways and bathrooms and living rooms, but we're actually gonna be putting it in Chase's office. He's been wanting to do some type of custom wall back here. You can see it's like super plain. We have super high ceilings. If you've been with us long enough, we did a really cool wall in his last office at the last house, but it wasn't gonna work in this one just because we had like vaulted ceilings and we didn't know how to pull it off. Plus we just wanted to try something different um, so we thought what the hey let's try this out so the very first thing I'm gonna do is clear out that space I'm not gonna take everything out of the bedroom just because we're not touching the other side of the room but anything that's over on that side we're gonna go ahead and get moved Also, just a little fun fact about me, I despise any type of cord, extension cords, so I always just tuck mine in between like the carpet and the baseboard. You can see I'm pulling it up there. It's super easy to do and I talk about it in a lot of my videos. Some of the steps when you're gonna be like painting or doing a makeover can be a little tedious and exhausting, but I promise you just by taking a little bit to get it done, your project's gonna look so much more professional when you're finished and that's the whole goal. So just take a few extra minutes and tape off and I promise you, you won't regret it. I'm also gonna go ahead and lay down these bed sheets just so we don't get any paint on the floor. Okay, so we got the sheets put down. Um, I always just save old bed sheets um, anytime we're like redecorating or switching things out instead of like trashing them or donating them, selling them. I always save them for painting projects. And then I always say to keep supplies on hand because you're more likely to get projects done. They sell these kits where you can just buy everything you need. So I find those super helpful. And when it comes to project time, you just open it up and you have all the tools to get started. Okay, and then here is the paint we went with. I know you guys always wanna know what we're using. Um, I wanted a one coat paint. And so I asked them what the best thing was, and this is what they said. Um, we looked at lots of different black colors. You would think just painting your wall black, it wouldn't be that hard, but there's a lot of blacks, there's a lot of whites, there's a lot of grays. So we went with the limousine leather. I'll show you right here. You can go ahead and screenshot this just in case you need it later, or you can just come back and reference the video. But this is what we're gonna be using to get this wall painted. Okay, so while Chase gets started painting around the trim, I do wanna thank the Home Depot for sponsoring this video. No one knows home improvement better than the Home Depot, and I'm gonna talk about a few reasons of why I love them. One of the reasons is their delivery. So the Home Depot has flexible delivery options. 
They have over 1 million online items that can be delivered free to your doorstep, which I think is amazing. And if you're watching the right side hand of your screen, I'm showing you just how easy it is to do. We went ahead and ordered a few things online and it came straight to our front door. So there's nothing easier than something just being dropped off at your front porch and unopened items can be returned within 90 days of purchase. Okay, so as you guys can see, we got it all like painted around the trim and the edge. So I'm about to start rolling it with the roller. I can't really get a good shot because I'm stuck here at a wall, but I seriously thought this was going to like make the room seem so much shorter and bring the eye down, but it's already looking so much bigger. And like I said, I can't show you because like the only thing I can get on camera is the wall but it is looking so much grander in here. So I cannot wait to get the rest of this painted black. Now that Chase has like all the trim painted, it makes it easier for me to go in with a roller and I'm just gonna roll the rest of the wall. This makes it super easy to do and fast. But I wanted to talk to you another reason why I love the Home Depot and it's their mobile app image search and like product locator. I think this is so helpful. So if you're going in or you're needing a special tool or gadget, whatever, you can first make sure it's available in the location near you. And you can also look up where it is. So you're not going in looking lost and don't know where to find it, which I feel like their workers are always so helpful. But if you just wanna know straight where to go, all you have to do is look it up and it tells you the exact aisle it's on. Or another option is to just buy online and pick it up in stores, or you can do curbside pickup. That's the one I love. I love that I can order it online, drive it straight to the Home Depot near me that has it. I pull right into a designated parking spot and then I just um, check in from the mobile app, which is so helpful. They bring it straight out to your car. They honestly make it so easy to do. They'll even scan it through your car window so you don't even have to roll your window down and then they load it up for you. Another really cool feature is they send you a confirmation that you're checked in and it shows exactly what they're bringing out to you. So you don't have to worry that it's the wrong thing. You know exactly what you're getting and then boom, it appears in your car. <laughs> So to get started on any of the features that I talked about today, any or all of them, all you have to do is download the Home Depot mobile app and get started on your doer project today. I'm gonna have that link down below in my description box. And thanks again to the Home Depot for sponsoring this video. Okay, so it still has to dry um, because we actually chose a flat base paint because we want it to have like that matte feel. So it's still a little shiny and wet right now, but I think it's gonna look so good. So even if you don't wanna take the time and add um, like all the wood elements, which I think is gonna make it pop even more, you could just do a pop of color on a wall and it's super easy and simple to do and really doesn't take much time. I think the hardest part's just always getting started to like convince yourself to do it, but it's looking so good. I just wish my camera went back more so you could see how it's turning out. Now we're gonna go ahead and start making the cuts of the wood. Now there's all different ways to do this. You can even just buy molding that's already pre-cut. We wanted to just be able to cut our own, so that's how we're gonna do it. So you can customize it a little bit more, but there's lots of options just in case you don't have the right saw or tool. Just go in, pick a fun molding, and you can cut those down to size as needed. Give me the kiss now. I just wanna hold you close to me. I really like you. 
Okay, so Chase is out cutting the wood, but as you can see, the paint is dry in here. You can see a little bit right there. That's just my blinds and windows shining in, um, but it looks gorgeous. I love this color. So once again, if you're looking for a good black, it was Limousine Leather by Bear, and it went on so well. Like I said, we did the flat finish, and I'm so glad we went with that because it's got almost like a matte feel. So I can't wait to start putting up the boards, which we'll be doing really, really soon. Like me. Don't you wanna see what this could be? Anytime we're doing any type of like painting project, I always try to show you guys Chase pulling off the tape. It's so satisfying to me. And every time I show it, you guys always mention it too. I don't know why that is so fun to watch, but it is. Now, once it comes to like the wood design or pattern or how you're gonna lay it, you cannot mess it up. So this is just whatever works for you. If you want a lot, if you want it busy, if you want it simple, it's definitely up to you. You can definitely get inspired by going over to Pinterest and looking up a wall. You probably can't mimic it exactly, but it'll at least give you some something to like reference and know kind of where to get started. I really think that's the best route to go. Otherwise, just start cutting those boards and laying them up there and start making a really cool just design with them. Now, as far as the outlet covers, there's so many different options. You could buy black ones, you could spray paint these. I'm gonna go ahead and just use what I have, the white ones and the paint I have, and just paint over them. Then they'll blend into the wall exactly. So that's the way I went. Um, I did look up a lot of options on Pinterest of did they leave them white? Did they do them all black? This is what I saw a lot of. Plus you really don't see the outlets because we have stuff plugged into them and furniture in front of them. So it really wasn't that big of a deal for us. All the neon signs, now they shout to me and you. To write a story on a shape that I know. When coming up with the design, I think the best thing you can do is just have those boards and keep laying them around. Do not like nail them in until you're for sure, but we would just take turns like holding the boards and one of us would stand back to see, you know, do we like it? Is it too busy? Is it not enough? Is it too close? But like I said, there's nothing exact about it. You just go with your eye, what you love, what you like, and that's what's gonna be best for your space. Got a restless mind And now I won't let go So let us be crazy Before we are cold You can take us out Your doubts won't hold us down Cause we're gonna light up The sky where we go oh, oh. Do you wanna Do you wanna come along with me Come along with me Do you wanna I'm going to go ahead and put one more coat on these outlet covers. These aren't really made to be painted on. They're like a shiny plastic, so it did need two coats. Plus where I'm touching it, I'm like rubbing it off. So it definitely needed two layers on that. And then Chase is just behind me kind of creating the pattern. He keeps stopping to ask me, does it look okay? Does it need to go here? We just kind of kept referencing each other the whole time. So when Chase was making the cuts, he would always use this tool. I'd call it a gadget, he would call it a tool, but it's to get a 45 degree angle on the cut and that's the side we put up against the wall. Um, so if you're gonna do this, the boards that were touching the other boards, we didn't cut, but if it was gonna be touching the wall, we did a 45 degree angle. Baby, you ain't got nothing, gotta do something, get it right. Gonna keep on running, grab the fun and live it. 
Okay, so we just finished putting up all the boards, and obviously when I say we, <laughs> I mean Chase. So he worked on this design. He kind of picked one um, that he liked off Pinterest, and we just kind of made it work for our wall and did a few adjustments. So now I'm gonna put some wood filler in where he put like all the nails in. You can't really see it on camera, but I'm gonna fill those. And then we're gonna paint these the same color that I used to paint the wall. So that's one look. If you wanna do it a little bit different, I've seen people, especially with the black, do this flat back here and then get like a satin or glossy in the same color paint. But then the boards are glossy so they stick out a little more. I think that's really cool. But since this is like a man's office, we're gonna just keep it all on flat. So like I said, I'm gonna take the wood filler and fill in those, sand them, and then we're gonna get this painted and I cannot wait to decorate this space. I did want to mention how easy this project was. We honestly thought it was going to take an entire day. We thought we'd start super early in the morning and we would do it late until dark, but it honestly only took us about six hours total. And that was even taking a few breaks and eating lunch. So you can really tackle this in one day, even if you have to keep stopping and taking care of your kids, definitely just get it going in the morning and you will finish by nighttime. And it's just a really cool project. So it's something you can do in one day. It's gonna make a huge difference. It's gonna personalize your space and it does not take much time or money to do it. Also, another tip is once you start painting it the same color as the wall, um, it starts to blend in and it's less busy. So if you want it to be really busy, I suggest adding a ton of boards because it's almost super simple now. And when it was still wood, it was getting a little too busy for me. But once it's all painted the same color, it does simplify it a lot. So if you want it to be super busy, really add a ton of boards, even though it's gonna look crazy at first. Um, and if you like it simple, just keep in mind, you still may add a few boards because it's gonna get even simpler <laughs> once you paint it black. And you can choose any color on this. So you could do, you know, pinks or blues or grays or just do whites or the color that your wall already is. If you wanna make it easier, you wouldn't even have to paint the wall at first. You could just use that same color, which I'll probably be doing somewhere soon because I love this wall so much. And you don't have to make it a crazy design. You could do a really cool pattern or something like that. So you can totally just customize this to what you like and what your style is. Now the cleanup stage begins. This is always such a nice point to get to. It means you're done with the project and it means it's almost time for decorating, which is always my favorite part. So I love when it's cleanup time because I don't mind cleaning it up. I love getting all the clutter and mess out of my house. And then I love to start putting the room back together and just seeing what a difference it makes. Now I'm gonna start to take all the tape off from where we were painting, like the wood trim. And the best tip I can give with this is take it off when it's still a little wet. So if you wait until it's dry, sometimes it's gonna kind of peel some of the paint off with it. So I've learned to let it dry just for a few minutes, but pull it off before it gets all the way dry. And I think this will just save you some like hassle and mess later on. Could I taste them for real? Longing for you, longing for you. Okay, now I'm gonna show you right here. It's the only one that did it, but look, as I pulled it up, it was already so dry, it started to pull a little bit of the paint and wood off. 
So definitely still do it while it's damp. Now you can just take a paintbrush and go back over it. You can take a Sharpie, but if you don't want the hassle of it, just make sure the paint's a little wet and then take off the tape. Before I start moving any furniture back, I always like to vacuum real quickly as well, just because his desk is there, I can't really vacuum underneath it, and it just freshens up the space before everything goes back to it. Um, I always just find that helpful, and I love seeing vacuum lines, so I'm just gonna give this area a quick vacuum, and then I'll start moving all the furniture pieces back. Your intentions are good. I walk back to my history, into my own So Chase was out in the garage while I was putting this room back together, so I'm trying to move everything back by myself, but I wanted to surprise him when he came in so it was completely done and he could see what it looked like finished. So that's why you're seeing me like shift the desk back and forth by myself. Um, I just wanted it to be like a big surprise when he came back in. So while we were working on Chase's office, Savannah was actually working on her bedroom and we had stuck the plant that was over here in this corner out in the hallway and Savannah put it in her room and loved it, which is totally fine because it actually had a black base and I think it would have blended in with the black wall too much. So I ran into our guest bedroom where we had this tree with the wicker basket and I feel like it looks amazing against this black wall. It's just so much contrast. I love the height of it. I just feel like all the pieces now pop against the wall instead of just getting lost. I felt like when it was just like a tan of wall, it was just so simple and plain and boring and now you just walk into the space and it's absolutely beautiful. guys so much for watching today's video I hope it gets you inspired to work on your space and I do want to thank the Home Depot for sponsoring this video today don't forget to download the Home Depot mobile app and get started on your doer project today that link will be down below in my description box I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one bye